Do you want to change how often your trash is emptied on your WordPress website? Or if you want to stop WordPress from emptying the trash automatically, then in this video, we'll show you how to limit or disable the trash being automatically emptied in WordPress. And I'll show you a few different methods so you can pick the one that works best for you. By default, your WordPress website will automatically delete anything in the trash after 30 days so it doesn't pile up. But what if you don't want to do that? I know some people who actually use the trash as their sorting place or a place where they keep a lot of posts that they'll reuse. And so this is perfect for them and maybe you as well. The first method we're going to use is by using a plugin. So from your dashboard, let's head over to plugins, add new, and we're searching for a plugin called change empty trash time. This is one we're looking for. So let's go ahead and click install now. And then we'll stick around to activate it as well. Once it's installed, we need to head over to our settings general area. And this is where we can make some changes. So if you scroll all the way down, then now you have an area called time to empty trash in days. You can do zero in order to remove them directly or immediately, but you can also make this to delete after say one day, you'll put one, seven for weekly, 30 for monthly. We'll just go weekly. And then we'll click save changes. So now that will change and remove anything in the trash after seven days. If you don't want to do a plugin, you can use a code snippet to do this. If you're not very comfortable with adding code, then maybe you just want to stick with method one. But for this method, you want to edit your WP config file. If you're comfortable using an FTP client, then you can do it like that. For this one, I'll show you how you can go to your hosting provider and open up your WP config file. Go to advanced and scrolling down, we want to go to file manager. From here, you see all of these items that we can choose from. And we want to go into public. Scrolling down, we're looking for wp-config.php. So we can right click on this and edit. And it says, hey, you know, you're going to edit something and we do recommend that you make a backup anytime you're making any changes. And this is all of the stuff that kind of runs the back end of your database. And what we want to do is we want to add this bit of code Somewhere near the that's all, stop editing, happy publishing, we want to maybe just come up here and we're going to paste this bit of code. This bit of code you can find in our written tutorial. You can find a link in the description below to do that. So this is saying empty the trash every one day. If you want to change that, you can change that here. So we'll just do like we did the other one and just say every seven days. Make sure you save your changes and now that'll be done just by using code. Now, if you want to stop WordPress from automatically deleting items from the trash altogether, then the next method is for you. So with this method, we'll also be adding a snippet of code, but the best way that we can add this is by using a plugin called WP code. This is perfect if you're wanting to add little bits of code to your website and it often can replace several smaller plugins out there. So head over to plugins, add new, and we'll search for WP code. And this is the one we want. So let's go ahead and click install now and activate the plugin. Great. Now that it's activated, we see it down here. We can go to code snippets, but if you ever need to come back and make any changes, then over on the left, we have code snippets area. So we can hover over it and let's go to add snippet. And what's really cool about this is these are all available snippets for you. So if you want to add your custom code, which is what we'll do, we can do that. If you want to remove or change the Howdy admin. And if you take a look at the most popular, these are some of the most popular ones that you can enable on your site. Like if you want to upload SVG files, by default, WordPress doesn't do that. If you want to completely disable comments, then there's an easy way to do it here. Disable automatic updates. So many items that you can do that will quickly make changes and allow you to customize the back end of your website and the front end as well. But for this one, we want to add custom codes. So we're going to say use snippet. And now we want to add a title so you know what this is about. And then you want to paste this bit of code. Again, the written tutorial will have this information for you. And you see that they're getting a little bit of errors. That's simply because we don't have the right code type. So if we scroll down to PHP and now it's all good to go. And what this is saying is remove the schedule delete so that it doesn't delete anything for you. Scrolling down, this is where you want to, where do you want to insert this? Because this is for the whole site. We want to auto insert and we want it to run everywhere. 
And then we want to come up here to make it active and save snippet. And now if you ever send something to the trash, then it will stay there until you manually delete it permanently. And if you want to see a few more things that WP code can do for you, then you can watch this video next as we walk you through step by step on how to add custom code to your WordPress site. And I'll see you over there.